This is awesome. This is awesome. <laughs> Look at these blinds, boys. Look at these blinds, YouTube. Oh, well, you get you get your head in there. Get your head in there, man. What you doing? We're gonna kind of push that stuff on, over, over the blinds, make it blend in. Really kind of go down in a natural little pattern there. We got the old full bodies out today. Full body ducks, full body geese. We got about I don't know, ten dozen duck decoys out. About seven, eight dozen full body Canadas. Welcome back to another one, y'all. It is our first day of guiding here in Alberta, Canada with Old Dog Outfitters. Old Dog Outfitters, first day today. We've got six clients, so it ought to be a good day. We're chasing some ducks. Been scouting this field, saving this field for about three days. There's probably three to 4,000 ducks in the field, like actually feeding pretty heavy in the field in the mornings and the evenings, and I don't know, a few, few hundred honkers at most. We're gonna try to get I don't know, realistically, probably 20, 25 honkers at most. Um, they're kind of separated from the ducks, so we're really chasing the ducks. Probably go haunt the geese this afternoon, most likely. But uh, we have one open date available with a partial group. We've got two guys. Sorry, I'm getting out of the field here. We've got two guys we can add four people to, up to four people to. I'm gonna drop the email down in the description below and I'm gonna pop it up here on the screen as well so you guys can have that if you want to book uh, up here in Alberta Canada you get five hunts meals lodging shells included uh, we're chasing eight geese and eight ducks per person per day so that's the goal we're in a barley field I don't know if you could hear me earlier we're in a barley field it's really nice swath road we've hid the blinds in the swath row and uh, we're, we're hitting just really well. Got the full bodies out there. First day of hunting with clients this season. I'm not shooting today, I'm just gonna film the whole thing. Anyway, that's enough talking. Uh, let's get to it. On the left, here we go. Take them, guys. Kill them! Nice shot on the left there. Nice shot on the left there. Foggy morning. First block. Got more coming, y'all. More coming. Right here behind us, guys. Y'all load up, get down. Take them. Right here up front. Oh, nice. Got an echo out there. <laughs> Holy moly. Good job, Mike. Oh, big flock, guys. Y'all get down, y'all get down. Take them, y'all. Kill them. Straight out up. front, out That's front. Low ones, low ones, low ones. Good shot, good shot. Oh, should we get a count? God dang. Good first few flocks there, boys. Hmm. Wind's kind of out of our west, so they're kind of coming in a little bit from our back left corner. I'm not kind of centering up, but wind's supposed to switch from the north, so I ought to get them in the face, you know. Load it up. 
Big flock coming. Where'd it go? On the left. Here we go. This is awesome. This is awesome. Take him! Burn him! Woo -hoo -hoo! Nice, boys. Nice. Awesome job, guys. Is that cool? Don't see that in North Carolina, do you? <laughs> oh, good deal, boys. That was a good flock. That was a good flock. Gosh darn weather, man, Thomas. It's a foggy morning out here. A breath of wind from behind us. Not bad. At least they're sucking to the decoys. At least they're sucking to the decoys. That's all that really matters. We've probably already got about four limits, so it's happening pretty quick here. A little overcast day. Another flock coming. Another flock coming. Woohoo! Oh gosh, get in. Get in, get in. Hit him with the old rolling thunder. Ooh, they like that. <laughs> <laughs> Who got that one? That, was <laughs> that doesn't suck, does it? <laughs> the only thing I wish we could change is the wind right now. Hey man, they're landing at 10 freaking feet. <laughs> That's neat. That's pretty neat. Get ready, y'all. Take him. Take him. Good job, fellas. Y'all be sure to lean up and shoot the lowest birds. Those are the closest ones. Take him, take him, out front, out front. Good shot on the left. All right. There's no wind, and the little bit of wind that's in our face is killing us. Mm. We're cleaning up pretty good, though. Gosh dang it. Please switch wind.
Take him. Yeah. Nice shot. Nice shot. <laughs> Not sure else where to call it. No, that's, that's all you can do with the way they're doing it. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. yeah it, it is what it is. I mean, they're... 10 feet. Yeah. They're close. They're <laughs> just not, we're just not getting that pretty flock in front of our eyes. Take them. Woo! Good deal. About three quarters of the way there. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, buddy. That's a drake. Take them guys out front, out front. In the decoy. Get them. In the decoys, guys. There's, there's, <laughs> right there. Kill it. Kill it. Uh. <laughs> Take them, guys. Good shot. Ah. Nice. All right, we need a hard count. Boys. Hard count, boys. Getting a hard count. Make sure we don't shoot over. Probably stop one or two short just to be safe here. From there, another one back here. I mean, I, I do want to stop a couple short. Yeah. Gosh darn, gosh darn weatherman lied to us today. As usual. Welcome As usual. No Welcome to Alberta. <laughs> no, no, wind, no, wind, no wind in the wrong wind. That's typically how the weatherman works everywhere. <sighs> They shot a couple. <laughs> they shot a couple. <laughs> donkeys. Big donks. That poor goose didn't know it did it. Hey, um, what, am I going to shoot when I... Well, I saw there's a shell stuck down here. Yeah. Well, there's one in the chamber, but it didn't shoot. It didn't fire? Uh-uh. There you go. Appreciate it. Sometimes the Vanellis, they don't, they do not rock all the way forward and latch the shell in, so sometimes it won't even fire. Kill that goose. Good shot. Wow. Dusted him. Thanks, bud. Shoot them, guys. Geese. Good shot. There we go. We're racking up some Canada's. Some Canadas. <coughs> I thought they were gonna come all the way in, dang it. Anyone shoot a, a duck? I shot at one. You shot at one? <laughs> yeah. Take them, guys. Right out front, out front. I know y'all got more shells. Y'all look around, boys. <laughs> y'all keep that head on a swivel, boys. Keep shooting.
take them, guys. Take them. No more. No more, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more. Not on the ducks. Good deal. That's a wrap. Stay, stay, stay. We do appetizers. Yeah. But just. All right, y'all, we just got done eating some breakfast, cleaning the birds, getting all the work done, bagged up, processed, everything's done. Clients had an absolute time of their lives. Uh, let me go over a couple of things. Before you click off this video, let me go over a couple of things. These clients have never shot a mallard before. They were stoked out of their minds. They were super happy. I mean, they just limited out on mallards, shot eight geese today, and it was a freaking incredible time. I mean, it, they, they were saying it was the hunt of their lifetime. And it could have been incredible. They're like, it doesn't get much better than this. We're like, you know, actually, yeah, it does. Um, not not downing the hunt at all in any way, shape, or form, but it was it was a good time. But it could have been freaking nasty. The wind was in our face for the first 20 minutes of the hunt, and they had already shot half their limit, which kind of stunk. Uh, I was supposed to switch uh, right at sun sunrise, so or right at shooting light actually. It was supposed to switch to a north wind at shooting light and it ended up not switching. It actually switched out of the the south and it ended up switching out of the west. Uh, yeah, the west. So the birds were kind of coming over our left shoulder and over the over the left shoulder into the front of the mojos instead of coming out front towards us they, they were kind of coming like this and that was the only thing about this hunt that wasn't the that wasn't making it an absolutely incredible hunt for these guys they all shot their first mallard um freaking awesome i want to go over a couple of things a lot of you've been commenting what duck and goose calls am I blowing? Everything that's on my lanyard is a rolling thunder game call. I blow their cut down duck call. It's just a poly cut down duck call. And I use their honker call and their lesser call. Freaking sweet calls. Um, really reliable, really nice. Yeah, y'all check those out. If you like blowing a cut down or want to get into blowing a cut down, they have beginner style, advanced, all sorts of stuff. You might as well try it out. I love blowing duck calls and I've just got into blowing cut downs like a couple of years ago. They're super fun to learn by no way, shape or form. Am I the best, even close to being the best, but, um, they're awesome. I, I've blown a J-frame my whole life, and c going to a cut down is just really enjoyable, trying to learn something new. If you haven't watched the last video, click on the last video. Watch these. Uh, we're doing, this will be day seven. Day seven, guys. Clients are in. We're guiding. It is getting serious. We're going to put some really good content up this year. Just hit that subscribe button.